Hi right, guys, give me just a second here. Hi guys, good evening. Give me just a second. Um, can you hear me guys? Oh, me escuchan yeah. doble. Doble. Okay, give me one moment. Good sí, evening. Please. Hello, hello. Guys, uh, todavía me escuchan doble? Do you still listen like to like two voices in my microphone? Not teacher. No problem, teacher. Are not teacher. Okay. Are okay. not teacher. Okay, thank you. Hi, good evening. Great to see you. How are you? How are you? Hi, hey, thank fine. you, teacher. Yes, nice. Ricardo, great to see you. Hi, Belen. Thank you so much for joining. Gabby, thank you for joining too. Um, <laughs> I see Maurice. So, hi, Maurice. Um, I see we got uh let me see there i got felix there the francisco there give me just a moment please 
Okay, let me just fix my camera super quick. All right, guys, so thanks a lot for joining. It's super nice to see you, Francisco. Hello, and thank you for joining. How are you? Uh, Hello, Helen, teacher. Good yeah, evening. Good to see you there. How are you? Good evening. How are you doing, guys? I'm fine. Today was a good day. Oh, good to hear that. Okay, nice. No meetings, no OT. So no nope. extra work? No. Okay. I am in, in house, in, in my house. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Sounds really nice, actually. Just a second here. Something is going on with my camera and I don't know what. Uh, <laughs> I look like a ghost. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot for joining. Uh, and thank you for being here with us, Andrea. Thank you so much. Angelica, hello. Hello, mm. hello. Okay, wait. My In my camera, I look like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and I still don't know why. So I'm like trying to fix this thingy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Let me just move my uh, lamp a little bit. Okay. Oh, guys, did you have like a power outage some minutes ago? No. I get to a problem with the electricity. Did you have like a power outage? I don't know. No. No. Oh. It's no, just it's with water. How's it going? I have issues with my water. How's it going? With the water? Yes. Oh, okay. But not with electricity. So not like power outage. Or, or with the rain, you mean? What do you mean? An hour ago, yes, teacher, I have a problem. Oh, okay, okay. Now, guys, I try to fix my 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 camera, but I don't know what's right going on. Okay, anyways, so we're gonna like go over that word. Um, I'm missing still some people. Hi, Arnoldo. Good evening. I don't know if you're working, but thanks a lot for joining. And uh, yeah, okay. So I think I'm missing a couple of guys, but but hopefully. They are going to join us in a couple of minutes. Give me one moment. Let me just change something here. Yes. Okay. 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 Oh, uh, yes, it's working now. Okay, so let me share my screen, guys. Um, we have session number 10 today. We do have a couple of things to work. Vamos a revisar uno de los temas también that you mentioned previously, uh, that you were having difficulties in unit number one, right? That was a adverb reduction. We're going to check it uh, hopefully later, cuando la mayoría esté acá, in case uh, you, come, um, you came across like any difficulty or you had some questions with that part. Uh, today, teníamos una tarea like, like super, super small homework that was a, Vocabulary testing. I don't know if you had the time. If not, don't worry. We are going to uh, work a little bit with that later. So guys, uh, to get started, the first activity I want to do with you is this one. So it is called um, like true false statements. So um, the instruction says write two true and one false statement. I know that you have been together for some modules, like probably one, two, three, four, but maybe there is still some information that you don't know about your classmates. So what I want you to do is to write three sentences. Two sentences have to be true, and one sentence has to be false. So we will try to guess what is the false sentence. Um, I guess I have told you some information about me. For example, if I tell you I have more than 10 siblings. I'm sorry, this is siblings. So I had more than uh, 10 siblings. Um, if I tell you I don't like cats, I don't like cats. 
Uh, I love chocolate. Okay, so uh, guys, I have these three sentences or three statements, they are about me. And what you have to do is tell me what is false. So here there are two true sentences and one false sentence. Guys, can you guess? Can you tell me what is the sentence that is false? I have more than 10 siblings. I don't like cats and I love chocolate. What is false? I have more than 10 siblings. Okay, I have, okay. Remember that the word siblings is for brothers and sisters. So if I say I have more than 10 siblings, that means I have more than 10 brothers and sisters. Okay, so Maurice says the first, that would be number one. Guys, what about the rest of you? What do you think? So number uh, one. I yes. think it'd be, uh, I don't love, you love chocolate. Oh, okay. So you'll go for number three. Like, I don't like, I love chocolate. Yeah. Everybody so loves chocolate. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice guess. Guys, what about the rest? What do you think? Everybody loves chocolate. Mm, okay. What do you think? One, two, or three. What is false? One, you number don't one. have 10 siblings. Okay, okay, so number one, number three. What about the rest? What do you think, guys? Hi, Ruben, good evening. Five. Uh, it's only three, so one, two, or three. What do you think? Which is incorrect? Which is false? Right. Uh, menu, a menu. Mm -hmm. uh, so, which is, uh, there is only one false, a dish, right? A dish. Ricardo? Yes. Yes, so one, two, or three? Three. Okay, I love chocolate. All right. I, I love chocolate. Okay, well, guys, let me tell you, um, I love, uh, well, you, I think you know this one for sure. <laughs> so I don't like cats. Yeah, that's a true, definitely. I like the cats. Okay, so I like which the is false? I love chocolate. I don't really like chocolate. Um, chocolate. Well, I have some specific types, but not like all kind of chocolate. So this is false. You love hot chocolate? Um, no, really, I prefer coffee. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, just a little, but it's not that I love it. Uh, it's it's just okay. Guys, so number one, I have more than 10 siblings. This is true, all right? It um, is amazing. Really? Well, actually, I have here 10, but that is not correct. I have, well, yes, I have more than 10. I have like I, 20 I have siblings. <laughs> So I have like, like, I don't know, maybe like 10 brothers and 10 sisters. So I have like 20 siblings in general or 25. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, someday I will tell you my story. Super crazy, but I have a lot of siblings. Guys, how many siblings do you have? I already have maybe nine Nine siblings. Oh, okay. I have okay. two. Two. All I right. I don't. I don't I know two. each other. Three. It's maybe I already know maybe three of them. Oh, so you don't know all of them? Okay. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Me too. I don't know the rest of my siblings. I just I have remember. A, I have a movie. Yes. Tom. Tom. Uh huh. A cheerleader. Um, um children Do you have oh. like how many cuantos tiene how many how many ten wait 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 <laughs> tiene <laughs> diez hijos do you have ten children i don't know i don't know, I don't know. but do you have ten children tiene diez hijos do you have ten i don't know oh, oh ya perdió la cuenta ricardo <laughs> So you already <laughs> lost count of it. <laughs> so, no, but yeah, indeed. So I have more than 10 siblings. It's amazing. I just remember uh, Andrea said that she is an only child. 
And I'm like, wow, that's super interesting because my family is big, like super big. Okay, guys, vamos a hacer algo similar. We will do something very similar. I will give you one minute and I want you to write same thing. Uh, two true sentences and one sentence that is false, right? So, but please don't make it too obvious. Um, make it a little difficult for the rest. Uh, probably new information. Hi, Carlos. Probably algo que no sepan los compañeros. Something your classmates don't really know about you. All right. I'll yeah. give you one, two minutes, guys. Hi. Hi there. Let me see. Who else is here? Hi, Can you guys. Could to be true or false. I'm sorry. Oh, three. three yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. So three sentences or three statements, but two true and one false, exactly. Especially something they don't know. <laughs> Especially something that is new for them. I'm sorry, that's my fue uno. <laughs> like, so yes, I, I read it already. It's okay, it's okay, no problem. I had severe pain in my gallbladder. Oh, I got a surgery when I was a child. Oh. It's only one minute, guys. So one extra minute. Go for it. How do you say amargo? Eh, bitter. Uh, B I T T E R. It's a bitter. Thank you. Guys, are you ready or do you need more time? Remember it's three, right? Three sentences. I'm ready. You, I'm you, ready. You, okay, so you're ready. And you? Uh, sorry? And you? Uh, well, these are my, my sentences. This was the example. So now, guys, it is your turn to do it. Okay, so uh, for this, we are going to make a couple of... Uh, okay. Okay, guys, so we're going to do a couple of groups. And uh, because we don't know much about the rest of our classmates, I want you to practice with everybody. So I want you to... Listen to your classmates. Oh, okay, no worries. Uh, give me one moment. Just let me answer one text. Okay, guys, so I want you to listen to the rest of your classmates, okay? Share your sentences and try to get what is the false sentence based on your classmates' uh, reply, all right? Guys, we have five minutes and then we will check which uh, or who has the most interesting uh, piece of information to share. 
So let's go to the groups, please. We have five minutes only. So go and guess. Enjoy it, guys. Try to share new information, please. So go to the groups, go to the groups.
All righty, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. Um, it was actually like a very nice practice to listen to you, to get to know you a little bit more, I would say, something that I didn't know much about. Um, it took me by surprise, you know, a couple of information you mentioned. Uh, guys, what was the most uh, interesting piece of information you heard from your classmates? Uh, oh, I'm missing one group. Wait. Felix, are you here? No, they are not here yet. Okay. Uh, so guys, what was the most interesting piece of information you heard from your classmates or probably that you shared? Someone doesn't like beans. Okay. Someone doesn't like beans. Yeah. Anything I'm else? agreeing. Okay. What else was interesting to hear? Voluntary. What is something that you didn't expect to listen to or something that you were surprised to hear? Not much? Okay, okay. Well, I just got to mention, I heard in one of the groups, someone is married. And I was like, hey, I didn't expect that person to be married. <laughs> so I guess that was like the most uh, surprising thing I heard. But Richard. cool. Yes. Yes, Ricardo? Casi no se mira usted. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know why, but my camera is super weird today. Actually, parezco un fantasma, you know? <laughs> I look like a ghost, I know. I was trying to fix it my camera. It seems me, teacher, like you're using glasses, but uh, like a jello glasses. No, if you take mira, a look at mira. my camera, I look like mira. a ghost. Mira, I don't know what's mira. going on. Sorry? Ni belen, ni belen mira. Oh, okay. But creo que es la luz, you know. I think it's a little bit of uh, lining. Okay, I guys. Come down like a listen. I come music win a stone gym. Okay, like guys. It. So give me one second here. All right. So we are going to, I guess I have everybody. So before moving on with the topic I have for today, uh, that is regarding testing and testing stuff. I want to check with you part of the exercises we had from yesterday. So uh, one of the things or one of the exercises that you were having issues with in exercise number one or in unit number one is this one. And it says a uh, reduction, right? So we are talking about reducing adverb uh, time classes. Uh, first of all, guys, uh, this is very easy, okay, and we are going to, we are not going to spend a lot of time in grammatical components, but we will go like straight to the point and how to do it and why we are going to use it. Um, in English, we use a lot of reduction. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Okay. So in English, we use a lot of reduction because we want to speak faster and because we want to um, say things, you know, without much complication. So what we do is that we omit or we reduce a couple of elements. Um, I have some examples for you. Uh, so here we have, uh, do you like to read while you are waiting for people? So when you have sentences like this, if you take a look, we have something in common in both sentences. So you have do you and you. So this word is in common. And I don't want to repeat and repeat and repeat. I want to make this shorter. So reduction um, is, or we reduce some expressions, some words, just people, to people. speak a little faster. Uh -huh. If you have people, people, so we don't need to say it. We don't need to repeat the same thing. So or that please. is exactly why we reduce. So we are going to reduce the whole thing. We are going to reduce you. We are going to reduce verb B. And really? we are going to use the ING form of the verb that we have here. So do you like to read while waiting for people? 
And that's why you. So this why is you? called reduction, right? So this is very common uh, when we have sentences that are long and that have the same subject. For example, if you take a look at number one, it says, Tom doesn't like to listen to music when he's studying. We have Tom and then we have he. Oh, we are talking about the same person, right? Tom, he, the same person. Uh, number two, Marianne. Marianne went to the theater after she had finished her homework. So Marianne, she, it is exactly the same person. Uh, when the doctor operated on Jim's mom, he found she was okay. Uh, so who are we talking about? Who is common in both sentences, guys? Number three. His mom. In, His remember mom. that we need two sentences. So Tom and he, we are talking about the same person. Marianne and she, it is the same person. Jim's Number mom. three. The doctor. The doctor. The doctor because it says he, exactly. So here we have the doctor, very nice. Number four, when you go to the party, please help me clean the uh, kitchen. What is common? You? You. Oh, but here, what happened with the you? Oh, remember that I don't need to write it, okay? It is not necessary to write it, but the you is in this space. So you is actually here, but we omit it. So be, please, before you go to the party, please, you help me clean the, the kitchen, right? So it is there, but we don't see it. Uh, number five. Do your kids like to run while they are playing? So what is the common word in, two, in both sentences? Keep and they. And they. Uh, they. Your kids, exactly. So your kids, yeah, and they. Okay, very nice. So we have here the words that are in common. Now, second part, which of them am I going to reduce? Because again, I need, ING. I always need ING. I'm not going to use anything else in reduction, but ING. But the big question, guys, the big question is, ¿cuál de las dos se reduce? In which of them am I going to use ING? This is called reduce other time clauses. So, vamos a reducir la que está con el other. In that case, we have while, we have when, uh, we have after. ¿Qué más ven? Any other expression that refers to time? In number when? three, when? When, when? when the doctor operated exactly this part. In number four, before. 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 Excellent, guys. You're amazing. In number five, while. 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 While, exactly. What does it mean? That the one I am going to be reducing is the one that is in blue, where I have the other, uh, or the time, the time clause. Okay, that is the word, the time clause. So let me erase it. I'm going to erase the red uh, circles because I don't want it to be super messy. And guys, I need you to help me reducing these sentences. I'm going to help you with the first and you help me with the others. So again, we said before, I don't need the same word. I don't need you. I don't need R. I am just going to use ING. That's it. Okay. So number one, uh, let's go ahead guys and let's try to complete number one. Okay. So number one, Tom doesn't like to listen to music. When studying. When, when studying. When yes, studying. that's it. Okay, and that is called reduced sentences. So Tom doesn't like to listen to music when studying, and that's it. Okay, number two, Marianne went to the theater after. She finished her work. Oh, again, again, remember, oh, no subject, yeah. no verb, B, only okay. ing. So after we are going to eliminate. Yes. Finish her work. After finish her work. 
Okay, but I need ing. Mm -hmm. I really need ing. Yes. After have finishing mm -hmm. after her after after working. Okay, let's eliminate everything. Okay, let's eliminate everything. Teacher, um, and yes. if I say Mariana went to the theater when uh, finish finishing her he her work. That is a possibility. So depending, right, on what you are being evaluated on, that is a, definitely a possibility. So Marianne went to the theater after, I need after, but I don't need the rest. I don't need she, I don't need have, one. after, fini, wait, fini, chin, that's it. So Marianne went to the theater after finishing, her okay. work. So yeah. I don't really need this part. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete it there. I just need finishing. That's it. Okay. Um, what about guys number three? Guys, please let me know if, if I'm going too fast. If you are not following, following me, if there's mom. something you're not sure, let me know. Yes. Yes, mom. So I'm going to eliminate this and I'm going to eliminate this. Okay. Number three. What about number three, guys? Just mom. Mm -hmm. But what? Just when mom has a, having an operation and she found doctor uh, She was okay. 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 Something, remember something very important. We need ING. Yes. We need ING, so this is important. This is necessary, okay. Now, previously, we said when, the, when? operating uh -huh. on his mom, he found okay. it was okay. Oh, there you go, very nice, exactly. So the doctor, I don't need the doctor because we have he, but I can change it. I can say when operating, on Jim's mom, the doctor found she was okay. So we can change the words a little bit and that is okay. So when, I don't need the doctor, when operating. So let me write it there. When operating, when operating on Jim's mom, like this, the doctor found she was okay or he found she was okay. So that would be it, all right? I don't need the rest because I will be repeating the same information. Guys, can you help me with number four? What, uh, how can Before we make going number to four? The party, Before so going me, to the party, please the help me clean the kitchen. Perfect, there we go, exactly. So before going to the party, uh, so before going to the party, so we have use ing here. Very nice. And number five, what about number five? Do your children like to run while they are playing? Are their playing. kids like to they're run they're in and play. In they are playing. They are. They are. Why are playing? Why are playing? While playing, exactly. So I don't need they are because I have children. So your children and they, it is the same. Do your children like to run while playing? And that's it. Okay, so when we are talking about reducing Albert time clauses, this is exactly what it refers to. Now, guys, um, give me one second. Let's work on the platform a little bit because I think that some of you were having difficulties uh, with unit number one. And this was a topic from the previous unit. So I just wanted to make, um, and that you can have this topic clear. Give me one second. Let me just open it up. And that was exercise. Give me one second. Homework 1.5. So guys, if you can go to Homework 1.5, uh, you're going to have actually, you're gonna find this exercise. So give me one moment. Let me present this. Um, if you have already finished the exercise, so that would be just cool. But if you still have difficulties with the same exercise, 
um, let me know, please, so we can try to do it together. Uh, guys, do me a big favor. Can you give me an emoji? Quien lo terminó? Who has already finished it up? Who completed the exercise? Or who was having difficulties with this exercise? I have a difficult. I didn't finish it. Yeah, with this one, with the same because exercise. I understand what I, what I yes, have. Yes, we know all the other side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's all right. So then in that case, guys, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Can you please go in your platform to this exercise 1.5? And based on the exercise we just complete, can you give it a try? So just remember, first, we need to evaluate. Let me just uh, circle it. So uh, we have to think, number one, de quien estamos hablando, right? For example, in one it says, after they sang two songs, the performer did a dance. So um, who is repeated? Or what is repeated they, in the sentence? They, they performers. Exactly. They think, again, okay, before. so we have they and we have the performers. Exactly. So we need to eliminate one of them. Second question. Remember After. that la que se reduce, exactly. The one that we reduce is the one that is next to the uh, other. In this case, after, right? So in this case, before, in number three, while. Uh, so we finish up to the comma. Number four, when, and we finish in the comma. Can you do the exercise, please? Can you give it a try? En la número tres, teacher. Mm -hmm. No veo un, para mí, para mí no veo un verbo en la, cerca yes, de why. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, very nice. Guys, can you help us with exercise number three? What is the verb in number three? While I was in college. Well, is the verb what? be, yes. This is the verb. This is the verb. So guys, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer con el verbo? What do we do with that verb to reduce it? Add ing. ing. Yes, ing. Exactly. Now, you may say, pero es que was, yo no le puedo poner ing. Imagine was in. <laughs> no, right? This is not possible. So, guys, ¿qué hago? Can I put uh, age? Question. No. <laughs> no, no, no. But What? this is where be. Age. ¿Cuál es el ing del verbo to be, guys? What is the ing form? Ing form. V, there you go, yeah. exactly, V. So yes, tenemos un verbo, no es muy común, but yeah, we are going to use V in that case. So es la forma ING del verbo V. Mm -hmm. That's the way. I'm going to give you five minutes, guys. I'll give you five minutes so you can complete the exercise. And if you get a stuck, if you have difficulties, please tell us, let us know and, and we can work it out. I'm going to eliminate the circle so it's a little cleaner.
Uh, guys, how are you doing? Almost done. Did you get stuck? Are you good? Are good, but in the in the number three and the number five. Okay. Uh, the verb. This, uh, Le quitamos el verbo. Okay. Por number complete. three. Uh -huh. Okay. So what do you have in number three? While away in college. Okay. Y lo demás, ¿verdad? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, very interesting. Okay. In number five, although. Although hurt. Okay. But el resto de ellas ya le salieron bien. So are they good? Are they okay? Yeah, es que toda, todas me salieron. Number three. Two. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Oh, you're right. In, in, okay. the, in the number five, I put ING and has, has wrong. Yes, um, can you delete it, please? Delete the B form. So just all the heart. Well, actually, I... ambas son okay. Ambas son posibles, but it looks like, uh, remember that the answers in the computer están como ya solo una tomada, you know, or un punto, una coma. Uh, definitely everything is under the computer, but um, yeah. So all the being hurt sounds okay, or all the hurt. Or in number three, so you can have uh, while being away in college, but este ejercicio solo le va a tomar correcto when you say while away in college. Uh, so just FYI. Uh, but guys, did it work? Let's function now. The, the, is the, the platform getting your answers, Rafael? No, teacher. No. Where? No. So, what are the difficulties? Number four, three. Five. Oh, all of them. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, number three. Can you read the answer, please, in number three? Why being away in college? Mm -hmm. Comma. Comma. I'm tired mm -hmm. with my roommates family uh -huh. during one spring break okay okay very nice uh can you eliminate being so just while away in college eliminate mm. being go down it's and send the answer because you say that we need a and g uh, yes this is what what i was uh, mentioning here that ambas son correctas, guys. Both are correct. But el ejercicio, la forma, el ejercicio, exactly. El, el ejercicio está diseñado this way. So it's just fine. Both are just fine. So guys, a number three with verb to be, a number four, number five, sorry, with verb to be two. Y le quitamos el ing. So we just eliminate the ing form of verb to be and it should work. Give me confirmation, guys, please, if it worked. Mm, wait a minute. No, mm -hmm. teacher. Not yet? No. Uh, okay, so Rafael, number three again. Why away in college? But it should be the one. I'm Can you do me a favor? With my roommates. Okay, okay. Guys, hagamos un workaround. Uh, Otro de, las, de los problemas que nos da sometimes the platform is cuando tenemos apostrophes, like in the case of number three that says, I stay with my roommate's family. So, super easy, guys. 
no lo escriben, cópienlo y péguenlo. So, toda la segunda oración, I stay with my roommate's family during one spring break, copy, paste, no se le olvide el punto, don't forget like the period at the end, and it should work. So, and eliminate that because, you yeah, The thing is that la plataforma, remember that, uh, ya está prediseñada, right? It's computer, um, computer based. So, si nuestro teclado es diferente, it's not gonna take it. So just let me know, guys. Are you have any difficulties with the platform? Okay. So what do you have in number five? The which was our phone. Okay, but is it okay now? Ya está bien ahora? Is it okay? I'm okay, to sure. Oh, okay, okay. Guys, what about the rest? ¿Ya, ¿Ya lo pudieron solucionar? Were you able to get the exercise correct? Uh, so, Angelica, Rafael, Iris, uh, Imelda. Hi, Kenya. Good evening, uh, Mercedes. Did you get the exercise correct? No, teacher. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, I couldn't get in on the platform. I have some electric problems, and I don't have Wi-Fi in my house. I only use uh, oh. data of my cell phone. I don't okay. know. Is that the correct thing? So uh, Mobile um, internet. Mm -hmm. Mobile internet. Mobile internet, exactly. Yes. So I am... Um, if I connect in here, it's kind of difficult to connect no at, the at the same time. No, it's okay, no worries, no worries. Uh, so just, uh, if you have uh, still difficulties with this a specific exercise, that is 1.5, let me know, please. So, Thank you, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Kenya, where are you having difficulties? While I was away in college, I stayed with my roommate. Uh, roommate's family went. Okay, okay, Ricardo. So, oh, Rafael. Um, so, uh, are you writing it like this? Sorry, teacher. Uh, in, in copy. Era la copia del el compañero. El, 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 <laughs> no, el, del portapapeles. Es okay. el portapapeles. Pensé que la había copiado. Okay, this sounds good. So let's get the first piece, right? Just eliminate the first I was. Um, while I was in college, I stayed with my roommate's family during one spring break. Uh, Enrique, le funcionó? Does it work on your side? Yeah, this works. Okay, so it, it is good, right? It is marking right. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, guys, yeah, in the platform, there are a couple of things, especially when there are apostrophes. Uh, my recommendation is copy and paste, you know, because if you have in Spanish, no le va a tomar el apostrophe, porque lo toma como una comita, and, uh, or le tome como una línea, you know, so the, the symbols are different. But let me know in case you have uh, more difficulties, please. All right, guys, so let's move on a little bit. Um, just make sure that you got that. Yeah. Number five, mm -hmm. the same chat, but uh, uh, just Francisco, like it should work. Just Rafael, I see day. yours. So, uh, Rafael, right in that one, solo que te la bien, just eliminate being and it should work. Okay, thank you. Yes, we have an idea. And that should be it. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's let's move on a little bit. Um we still have something to check. Give me just a moment, guys. Let me close the door. It's, it's raining.
All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. So, ya comenzó a llover acá. It's raining super heavily here. Okay, so yesterday uh, we had this exercise. This was homework. Um, I don't know, guys, if you completed or you didn't complete it, but that's okay. So, the activity was uh, to match the words. We can hear you go out, teacher. I'm sorry? We can hear you well. Me, for example. Am I breaking? Me estoy quebrando, guys? Yes. No, teacher. ¿Me escuchan bien? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh. Yes, teacher. What's my internet? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mauricio, apague la camarita un momento. So turn off your computer just a moment. Y esperemos que se estabilice. Ya, yeah, guys, lo que sucede es que con la lluvia el internet gets crazy. Eh, si me quiebro, let me know para poder conectarme uh, with my phone instead. Okay. So, the homework. Okay, super. Okay, guys. So, the homework was to match the, the vocabulary with the corresponding description. So, what is a site and handling test? What is a used test? What is a branded test? A blind test? A monadic test or monadic method? A sequential monadic method? And a paired comparison test? Yesterday, vimos un par de palabras, right? For example, guys, number four, blind. What is blind? Do you remember? Ciego. Exactly. <laughs> that you cannot see. Uh -huh. Yeah, you don't see very well. We have to wear glasses or simply you don't see. Okay. Uh, brand. Do you remember what is brand? Marca. 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 Ah, very nice. That's the one. Monadic. This is very weird, but in la conversación de ayer y yesterday's conversation, we had something like this, if you remember. It says, I was thinking about the monadic consumers will eat and taste Thank our you. products and then they will rate it. So what, what would be like monadic? Is it on a tarea? Did you do the homework? Um, okay. No. <laughs> okay. No worries. No worries. It is a type of, of test. It is a type of test, a type of method, yes. Okay, guys, I know, I totally understand that we are not into, right? I'm sorry? Don't have a translation, right? No, it doesn't have, it doesn't have. Well, probably, but it's super, uh -huh. it, it, there isn't, there isn't any. Algunos de esos nombres, de hecho, es vocabulario técnico, si alguien está en el área de marketing, you know, or brand development. Guys, alguien está en esta área. Marketing, brand development? No. no. Business administration? No. Publicity? No. Okay, that's all right. So, uh, probably you may not be that interested in this. However, el vocabulario is super welcome all the time. And we are going to learn something different today that is different kind of method. Um, so, si no completaron la tarea, no worries. Si la completaron, super bien for you. So, that is super amazing because ya van un paso adelante. So, you are already one step ahead. Now, guys, what we are going to do is the following. I'm going to make uh, three groups, okay? And uh, let me explain what we will do. Number one, vamos a comparar las respuestas. We are going to compare the answers, all right? Um, you can use your dictionary, you can just Google, you can just compare what you have. That's all right. Then uh, I'm going to go check group by group. Después de eso, guys, after we compare, uh, group number one, Mercedes, Belén, Enrique, Ricardo, Angelica, Gabby, and Judy, nos van a explicar test number one, site and handling test, como en qué contexto o con qué producto se podría utilizar, right? Just some ideas, general ideas. Nos van a explicar site and handling test and use uh, test. So one and two. Group number two, uh, Ruben, Carlos, Imelda, Iris, Arnoldo, Kena and Rafael, we, you are going to explain number three and number four. For example, si es un blind test donde no se ve, 
¿Para qué productos se utilizaría? Uh, so, remember that this is testing with products. Probably in a sandwich. Okay. Probably in a deodorant. Probably in a perfume. I don't know. So think about some products donde se podría utilizar, right? And el último, guys, group number three, Andrea, Delmi, Francisco, Helen, Morris, and Osvaldo, nos van a explicar los últimos tres. Monadic, sequential, and pair comparison. No es una explicación super super big, right? Sino más que todo con cómo o con qué producto se podría utilizar. So, guys, is that clear? So first, oh vamos God. a comparar. Let's compare, good, let's compare the answers. And number two, con qué productos uso estos tipos de test, right? Uh, guys, we have 10 minutes. So let's go. You are welcome to join the sessions. Teacher. Yes, miss. Just a minute. I have some problems right now in my home. I just uh, fix them. And then I will connect maybe uh, 15 minutes, please. Yeah, no problem. Or the, uh, puede apagar la cámara. You can turn off the camera, turn off the, the audio, and that's okay. okay. That's okay, okay. no problem. Para que no salga y enter, right? Mm -hmm. No worries. Thank you. No worries, miss. Teacher, el grupo número tres me explicará el cinco, seis y siete. Five, six, and seven. Correct. Like, in qué escenarios, right? O con qué productos. Mm -hmm. We okay. can apply monadic, sequential, and third. Okay, guys, let's... Go, 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 go.
Hello, teacher. I'm here again. Alrighty, guys, give me just a moment. Hopefully, the rest of the guys will be back in a moment. Uh, just let me check something here super quick. Okay. 
Guys, the tra guys, June is almost over. Wow. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. Uh, to be honest with you, no sentido el tiempo, guys. And it, that is positive. That is super good because that means that you're speaking more, you know, and that we can keep a conversation going. So it has been super entertaining to listen to you. Uh, guys, vamos a continuar talking a little bit about this kind of tests and some examples uh, tomorrow, all right? Um, so we can uh, take definitely more time to give examples and to... Uh, and maybe you can think about some other products uh, that when you go to, um, you know, to buy something, so you have tested, right? So guys, antes de irnos, solo me ayuden con su camarita, please help me out with your camera a moment and give me verbal confirmation that you're there. Um, I got Mercedes. Present. Acabo de escuchar. Thank you so much. Andrea. Present. Andrea, ¿cuál es su segundo nombre? Laurena. Laureana. 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 Oh, cool. Belen. Wow. wow. Yes, wow. is here. Carlos, thank you. Delmi. Enrique. Present. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present. Thank you so much. Helen. Present. Thank you. Imelda. Present. Thank you, Miss Iris. Ricardo. I hear. Thank you, Kenya. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Angelica. Present. Thank you so much, uh, Gaby. Present. Thank you, Miss uh, Rafael. Present. Reina. Margarita, oh, Margarita is not here. Uh, Ruben, Ruben, si lo acabo de ver. Thank you. Judy. Uh, Judy tenía problemas de inter. And uh, Mauricio. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And I have Osvaldo. Osvaldo, regáleme su nombre completo, please. Creo que ya no está con nosotros. Creo que se fue. Okay, okay, guys. So thanks a lot for that. That was a very nice participation. Continuamos el tema el día de mañana. And guys, solo let me see. Si Kenya me puede regalar un par de minutitos, por favor. Los demás guys estamos dismissed, and I'll be seeing you uh, tomorrow. So bye, everybody. Have a good night. Enjoy it. Bye. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye. bye. See you. See you. Dios lo bendiga a todos y a todas. Noches. God bless you as well. Bye bye. Hello, Miss. Hello, hello. Hi, Tisha. Hey, I see your camera now. That's amazing. <laughs> How are you? How are you doing? Fine. Here. I I going to rest a little bit. I totally get that. All right. Yeah. But after a long day of work. I know. But the good thing is that, you know, um, the month is finishing, so I think that when that happens, the days go so fast. So that is fast. Yes. Yeah. So we, today has we don't this feel the, the time. Exactly. Especially if you are busy, like all day long, it's even better. Because uh, yes. you notice. I wake up and I am, I am busy. And I finish the day and I have to go to, to sleep. And you need to get up next day <laughs> and do yes. the same. I totally get yes. that. Okay, how are you doing? It's super amazing to see your camera. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, great to see you. Great, great to meet you. <laughs> okay. So uh, are you finishing work early these days? The work? Yes, uh, because I remember you mentioned you were working like OT. You were working extra hours. Yes, mm -hmm. yes uh, right now I 
I I have less work. Oh, okay, nice, nice. That's really good to hear. I have a lot of work, but less <laughs> than before. <laughs> oh, okay. So you try to organize your time a little bit, I guess. Yes. Um. Uh, oh, I I have a daughter of two years. Oh, okay. Yes. Then she she take a lot of time too. I totally get that. I I am I am in home office. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, but that is good news, I think, because you happen to see your daughter all the time, even though she takes a lot of your time. Uh, you can be there next to her, right? Like helping her or monitoring her. So I think it's good in a way. Yes, but or the, I, I have to be a multi-tax person. Oh, but do you prefer to be at home or do you prefer to go to your office to be inside? Um, I prefer stay at home. <laughs> yeah, a thousand yes. times. <laughs> okay. Yes, I, I can avoid the traffic. I don't like the traffic. No, me neither. So, and, and you have more by Only with time. that point, home office win. <laughs> well, for a lot of reasons. <laughs> no, but, but yes. as you said, your daughter uh, takes a lot of the your gap. time. Yeah. And you can yes. cook. So Avoid you don't the need traffic. To buy. Uh -huh. I don't like a, a lot of cook. Oh. I don't okay. like cook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I try, but I I I don't like. Okay. Sometimes, if I have, how do you say? Si tengo ganas. If I if want. I want to. Uh huh. If I want to, yes. But is if an obligation that you have to to make the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner, the the um, how do you say the lonchera? For the baby. Uh, yeah, so that would be like the lunch break. The lunch break, yes, are a lot of things that finally you don't enjoy because That's it's a responsibility. A That's a good not, point. Not, not because you like cook and you you wanna do some special dish or or something like that. But no, because you, you have, have to. to every day all the time and that is like an obligation that you don't enjoy oh, that's a really good point yeah you know I, i'm single so i'm like uh if i don't want to cook i just can grab a tortilla and that's it <laughs> so that yeah. is i guess you, you can eat anything anything exactly exactly you, you could you could buy a fast food you could buy in a, in a restaurant. Or... Yeah, but, but you know, it's super crazy because I'm doing home office oh. and I prefer to cook. How do you say comedor? Uh, in a diner. <laughs> ah, or diner. in a diner. Uh -huh. It's cheaper and easy if you have some near. Yeah, there there are like some diners near my house, but I don't like to go out. So I prefer to cook. I prefer to make my own tortillas. Can you believe it? I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, Kenya, this is the first time that I listen to you speak in English, uh, like for a longer period of time. So I'm like super satisfied. I think that you can communicate nicely. Uh, so, uh -huh, so tell me more. <laughs> Give me more information. <laughs> that sounds good. Sounds really cool. I, I lost a little bit in the last model. Okay. Why? Because I, I am working oh. all the model mm -hmm. and I work until night. Okay. Then I can participate a lot. Okay. Yes. And sometimes you're... How do you say acostumbrar? Get used. Uno se acostumbra. To? You get used to. Yes, I get used to not participate in the class. 
Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Yes, because in the other levels or models, uh -huh. I like participate, okay. but I, I, I get get used to. I get in, used to. I get used to in not participate in the class. Okay, so now it's like you're changing the routine again. Yes, I'm changing and I enjoy it. Nice. To speak English. That sounds yes, amazing. Because for me, it's, it's great that you can understand. Yes. And I think it yes. was you who mentioned that previously you had difficulties with listening, but now you're listening to programs, right? And you understand a little yes. more. Yes. That is amazing. So that is a really good activity you can be doing. What are you watching in English? Um, right now, I'm watching the, how do you say, muñequitos? Oh, cartoons. Program creams. Uh -huh. Oh, with your it's daughter, you cartoon. said, right? Uh -huh. Yes. But that's good. I, I, pay, I pay the TV in, in English. Mm -hmm. And she she understand too. Because what about songs? Songs, yes, songs. Um, I pay Coco Melo. I haven't heard that Coco one. Mello, <laughs> I need to listen to that one. Songs, okay. Are only songs, and she she sing. The exactly. Songs. Because if she is three years old, I think that uh, the younger they are, two years the, old. Yeah, they get like a very nice and natural pronunciation. So they absorb English because my nephews and my nieces, they are like six, seven years old and they start singing songs and with a beautiful pronunciation. So I'm like, what? What's going on? It's very nice. Um, in YouTube, you can find like a lot of songs for children and also for, for you or in your case, um, it is a very nice activity that you sing with her and it's going to help you a lot with pronunciation. So yes. I'm and, glad to and hear that. And sometimes mm -hmm. I, I saw in, in TikTok class mm -hmm. of English. Oh, okay. Well, I don't see, I listen. Oh, okay. When I, when I am working, when Do I you am have working. It, like in the back. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I recommend you like not to watch much like classes, but watch uh, tutorials instead, but not tutorials with grammar, but tutorials in topics that you like. For example, if you mm -hmm. like makeup, so you can watch a makeup tutorial just like that in English, you know, so you can get more into the vocabulary, right? Because sometimes with yeah. grammar or with English tutorials, we just get grammar, vocabulary, but we don't use it. So when you look for topics that you are really interested on, um, it is more useful. And then you're like, oh, I understood it. Oh, I'm going to try to do it. Yeah, so I think that tutorials work a lot. So if you like makeup yes. or handcraft. That, that boy helps a lot with the pronunciation because he is nativo. Ah, they're native. The yes. Ah, cool. It's native. Not is something that they speak Spanish. Okay. No, he speaks a, a little Spanish. Oh, all right. But is does he have like a tutorial of uh, what kind of tutorial is that? No. He, for example, today he read a a book for oh, for kids. Nice. Yes. And a little pass, a little part, because oh. the books for kids no have a lot of letters mm. or words difficult, are easy, and expressions. So, so it is like a storytelling. Yes. Like it tells the stories. Yes, and oh. and he helped with the with the correct pronunciations. 
Very nice. Now that's beautiful then. Yeah, books are very nice. So I'm super glad. I'm super glad that you're participating, that you are more absorbed and more into this thing and that you like English. So that is just amazing, I think. I definitely hope to see you participating more during the rest of the module. Otherwise, I'm going to be like, Kenya, Kenya, <laughs> participate, speak. <laughs> no, but I like it. I really like that, that you uh, got into this. And as you said, um, it is very common sometimes that uh, desarrollamos como una, un hábito, right? De ya sea no, de no encender la cámara, o no participar, o me quedo callada, o me da miedo, o me da pena. The, I think that that is like very common, but, but the, it is nice. The, that, class is, um, the class is well without me. No, no, because it is you say that to the, listen. <laughs> no. Yes, but the problem is that we don't 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 practice the don't pronunciation and exactly. without thinking English exactly. all that exactly that so is it is problem. necessary and the thing is that it is like super nice you know when when more people start participating and start speaking because it's like oh In so this, I can yeah and I feel that this level need more more conversation we More definitely practice. we definitely need yes. it we definitely we will try to we have like a lot of way ahead so more vocabulary as well so we're gonna be working on that all right so thanks a lot yes. for your time kenya i'm sorry i just stole a couple of your time but uh, but it was super nice to talk to you and uh, i just hope i'm looking forward to having you participate more in the future classes so thanks a yes. lot and have a good night. Thanks, have a good night. Likewise, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.